Hey, you sexy beast, who's ready to get inked up? I'm the Five Minute Gamer. We're doing chapter two tips of Bendy and the Ink Machine. So, why five minutes, you ask? Well, that's because I've been told my entire life by my mom and my wife that everything that's good in life can be done in under five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they both think we can do the dishes in under five minutes. Total horse shit. Anyway, so, this game can be done in under five minutes. Well, this chapter, anyway. I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks to do that, and here you gotta just click on the tape machines. There's one button right there you'll need. One button over here. I'm gonna show you where all the buttons are, so you know where to find them. If you hadn't found them easily, there may be problems. Anyways, long, dark, scary hallway, and there's gonna be a little scariness coming out. A dude with a cardboard cutout. If I had that cardboard cut out, it'd be a Marilyn Monroe or The Rock. Here's button number three, okay? Those are the three buttons for the beginning of the game, just in case you couldn't find them. Who would you have as a cardboard cutout? Leave in the comments underneath like the, the video. <laughs> okay, so the second part of it is you need to find the switch. Well, the switch is very simple to find. It's just down the stairwell, right at the top. Bing, bada, boom. You got the switch. You're booming. You're moving on to something greater and better. And you also get to fight some people, which is kind of cool. Okay, so now that you've fought all those people, you come over to this little spot. In order to get into this closet here where your clue for the music room is, you have to activate this conversation and the tape machine. If you don't activate the conversation, you won't be able to find the keys for that closet, okay? I'm also going to show you where you need to go for valve number two in order to keep this video a little shorter. It's not in this room. And there's a room with a pipe organ. If you click and play on the thing five times, you can actually uh, get a little quick achievement there. It is over to the right here. Go down this hallway to get valve number two after we do the music room. Make sense? Sure it does. And just keep looking on buckets or in buckets because the keys are randomly... Minecraft transition? What the fuck? Okay, so the keys are randomly uh, placed. <laughs> that totally threw me off my track in these buckets and yeah there there you can get the keys and now you can get into that closet because who doesn't like to go into the closet and stay in there like come out a little bit later and do something else right so here we are now it's going to tell you what you need to do in the music room okay this is very simple now the trick to this clue is you have to go to the projector room but i'll show you that Okay. The projection has to be playing the entire time you're doing the riddle. So it told me to play the bass fiddle twice and the piano twice. This will actually change every time you play this level. So if you're doing speed runs, things will change on you. Um, I found that out the hard way. But there you go. You hit the projection. You come down. Go as fast as you can. If you hit LB, you can actually sprint a little bit. And then you just do what they told you to do in the clue. Okay, once you open up the secret door in the music room, that's where you'll find the first valve. I won't do a full playthrough on that because it's pretty simple to figure out. Okay. Simple, simple things I'll kind of just, you know, leave you up to your own simple ways, I guess. Trying to talk until this clip ends is what's happening right now. There we go, we faded to black. And now, so you know where I told you to go for the valve number two? This is the location, okay? So now we're running down another sewer hall or an inky well or it's an ink well. Oh, hmm, very clever guys. This is an ink well. Okay, so this isn't really difficult to figure out as well, but you're gonna wanna just chase after the guy until he ends up in the right location and then you're gonna drop the box on him, okay? See how he's standing right there? We actually end up doing this pretty quick. The first time I tried this, it took me a couple tries to get him to stand in the right spot. Just chase him, chase him. Oh, where is he? Boom. Lands right where you need him. Squish him with a box. That's what she said. Squish him with the box. <laughs> I'm not PG-13, just in case uh, Just in case you're wondering. Please like and subscribe to my videos, by the way. I really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me. And uh, we're getting close to 500. Almost 340, actually. That's nice. That's nice. Not bad. So, now you have the second valve. You're going to go to the end. You're going to use it and do all that crap. Please like and subscribe, guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.